I want to talk about the life stories of two adventurers, writer Emily Hahn and neurologist author Oliver Sacks. On the surface, you'd think these two have not a lot in common. Hahn is a fiercely independent Missourian born in 1905 who got a mining degree mostly out of spite, did a road trip across the USA in a Model T, and then departed for what was then the Belgian Congo in 1930 at the ripe old age of 25. There's a passage in her autobiography, No Hurry to Get Home, where her mother asks pretentiously about her future, and she realizes, musing over her dismal experiences doing the filing in a mining office and working for a travel company in New Mexico, that not having a plan for the future was exactly what she wanted. The other writer is Oliver Sacks. I've been a fan of his books on the brain and its oddities, but I met an entirely different person while reading his autobiography, On the Move. Born in 1933, he writes frankly about his struggles as a closeted gay man and inquisitive drug user and emerging scientist. He grew up in England, the child of surgeons, survived separation during the Second World War, and then, after college, moved to the USA, to California and New York City. His only constant thereafter was change, it seems, and while he sounds notes of regret about not being accepted by many of his scientific peers and never having had a family, I wonder if he would have written so prolifically and touched so many patients and readers' lives if he'd had the usual comforts of house and career and Netflix that most of us enjoy. This isn't to say that either writer seems like a loner or a misanthrope. On the contrary, they're free and kindred spirits, able to find fellowship and friendship wherever they happen to be. Yes, I know it is a form of privilege, and yet these are humble humans and authors. Through their eyes, we experience a world that is vulnerable, ailing, and sometimes poor, and yet surviving, and even thriving. Lastly, it interests me that both book titles contain such active verbs, move and hurry. Perhaps this is why they were able, on their own terms, to accomplish so much. Until next time, happy reading. Mm -hmm.